This is a football bound four train. The next stop is Cambridge Road. This board of road. This is where I started it all in the late 70s. Night manager at Mickey D's down the block, Webster and Fordham, and then riding the Muggers Express, the number four train. First 13 to be joined by hundreds more, but it all started here in the Bronx. Quite frankly, nobody ever thought that this would ever work because we were young, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, males, females. Previous to that, everyone just threw you in as if you were just a member of some youth gang. That's what they thought we were, until they saw that we risk our life and protect people and do it for no pay, unarmed, against the oozy-toting, dope-sucking, psychopathic killing machines that unfortunately this became a breeding ground for. And from this little slice of the Bronx, this organization has now grown into 80 cities around the world, nine separate countries, but it all started here. Because one person could make a difference as long as others were there to care with them. And in us and we philosophy, not just the lone individual. And more importantly, even if you didn't have two nickels in your pocket to rub together, and you didn't have much of a record to begin with that you were proud of, you could start all over again as a guardian angel and rewrite your history and earn your wings. The guardian angels started in the Bronx in the era of hopelessness and despair in the 70s, the burned out buildings, the dope fiends, the gangs, the arson. And Sobro started in much the same way, grassroots organization, not depending on government or some big uh, mega corporate donor, but little guys, little gals making a difference. And now look at where Sobro has gone to become an institution in this part of our city. And look at where the guardian angels have gone because ideas can become reality as long as you roll up your sleeves, you do the hard work, and you're true to your commitment and your cause.